I hope it gets done. And I, I, you know, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm confident it will. Been wrong many times, but I've been right one or two. This is Jonathan Agger, fifth Pro Boxing fans, joined by match from CEO Frank Smith. Frank, uh, the weigh-in is done. Progre and Haney got intense, heated up there, as we expected. But uh, what do you think of tomorrow night? Uh, how, how, how do you feel that the promotion's gone and what did you make of the weigh-in? I don't think the promotion could have gone any better. Uh, I think it's been great and the fighters have played their part in that and the teams as well and everyone around it. You know, there's a, there's a lot of fire there between the two of them and the, and the camps as well. And I think we're in for a great fight. You know, this fight could go either way. You know, uh, 135 undisputed champion coming up, challenging the best at 140. These are the fights we need to see. They're the best fights in the sport. Um, and we're in for a treat tomorrow night. And yeah, look, it's been a tremendous promotion. We have a packed out chase centre tomorrow night, you know, and uh, it's been good. Been good. I'll study uh, before about uh, Devin Haney and when you had him previously to, uh, to having him now. What do you think the difference has been why he's selling out an arena like this? He's grown up a lot, he's changed, he's, you know, he's matured, he's built his profile. Um, but I, look, I think one of the key things as well, it's about great fights. People want to see great fights. This is a great fight, great fights sell. You know, there's very few people in the sport of boxing on their own hat, you know, on just as an individual can sell tickets or sell pay per views. That's the reality of it, you know, without the right dance partner. Um, I think Devon's on his way to being that type of star, but this is a fight that sells and people want to see. So that's what, you know, that's for me is one of the key things. And uh, just moving away from this, uh, Jack Catchell and Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor saying earlier today that uh, the offer was basically unacceptable. Uh, will you be going back with another improved offer? We'll look at it for sure. I mean, it's it's not what he said it was by any means. He didn't get. It's not. I think what did he say? Less than 80 or 80 percent less than last time. I don't, I don't quite believe that. Um, but we'll try and make it happen for sure. We'll try and make it happen. It's a it's a great fight to to be made. But everyone has to be realistic with it. Uh, Eddie said in an interview yesterday about uh, Jerron Ennis. Uh, any talks with him? I know his, his dad's here training Andy Cruz, but is that someone uh, you're in discussions with? Yeah, I'm sure everyone would love to do something with Jerron Ennis. I'm sure everyone's talking to Jerron Ennis. It'd be great to try and get something done there. Um, but he's going to have every man and their dog trying to do something. Um, but he's a, he's got huge huge potential in the sport. Like you know, he's, he's already in the position he's in, but he's got huge potential in the years to come to keep building his profile and go to another level. So for sure, that's someone we'd love to try and work with. Uh, Kel Brooks said uh, that if the money is right and it's a massive amount, he would consider coming back for a Conor Ben fight. Is that realistic? Uh, it depends over time. Like the longer he's retired for, I'm sure the the less likely it is. You know, we've got a focus on Conor Ben's next fight. You know, ideally we want that to be Chris Eubank Jr. If not, it'll be another big, massive fight at 147. Um, but yeah, that, that's a potential fight, but I don't think it's too likely. What's holding up this fight with Eubank and Ben? Money, money, money. No, but look, it's it is what it is. You know, everyone's got to be happy. Everyone's got to be got to get what they they feel they deserve. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, and we move on. It's a huge fight. It's the biggest opportunity for everyone out there. Nothing comes close to this. So I, I hope it gets done. And I, I, you know, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm confident it will. Been wrong many times, but I've been right one or two. Just final question. Uh, Johnny Nelson said a couple of weeks ago that he feels that Tyson Fury's legs have gone. Uh, what's your thoughts? Do you think that is the case? or was it just one below par performance? I don't. I, I'm never. I'm, look, I'm not a boxing expert, so I'm not going to sit here and say his legs are gone. He knows a lot more about boxing than me. I think the reality of the sport is that at the highest level of uh, sport, people have off nights, people have bad nights, and maybe that was a bad night for him. You know, you only see in the next one. If he follows up with a bad performance in the next fight, then maybe he's right. I don't know. But I'll let the experts decide that. I just like putting on big events and shows, and that's what I'll get on with. Certainly a big one tomorrow night, Frank. Appreciate your time. Cheers, mate.